As a service company, the thing that keeps me up at night is making sure that our clients are satisfied with our services and that we can continue to count on the revenue that we're generating through those relationships. My name's John Treefry. I'm the founder and CEO of 4WT Media, and we're a video agency and production company that works with brands and advertisers to create high-impact video content. We work with a lot of Fortune 500 brands like Google, AT&T, our newest client is Netflix, and people often ask me, how do you land big fish like that as a small business? And I think it really doesn't matter what your industry is. It's really about being great at what you do and communicating with your clients. Because if you do a great job and you really deliver on what you say you're going to do, when you say you're going to do it, and for how much they're expecting, it creates a really great give and take with the client. One key tip that I can give entrepreneurs and small businesses who are going after these large companies is over deliver and really exceed their expectations. But at the end of the day, I think that working with large companies is no different than working with smaller companies, but the stakes are higher when you're working with a big company. Really the process and making sure my team is doing their best work, it's the same. Our bread and butter when we first started were not those super sexy marquee clients. We had lots of smaller clients and I think learning through doing was so powerful. And if you've done great work for a client and it's not a recognizable brand, that's still a really powerful case study. You know, I will say, you know, something that, that I think is super important for entrepreneurs just getting started is being able to say no. There was a lot of clients early on that I wish I would have had the courage to say no to because you think, yeah, this is great. I'm getting an offer to do this work and I can generate the revenue. But if they're not the right fit for you, there's plenty of fish in the sea and you should go after what it is that's really right for your business. And something that I think a lot of small businesses don't do is really define who that is. Who is your ideal customer? What verticals, what industries, what size of the business? Are they located geographically near you? You know, and just starting to put some parameters and specificity around who it is that you want to work for, it really helps to zero in and find the right clients.